Alright, what's going on everybody and welcome back to Back to the Future Episode 4. So, I've done a little research and I think I knew what to do. Hopefully. But I need to find that freaking thing. Shows the picture. And I don't know where it is. <sighs> yep, we turn on the machine. Oh. Uh, uh, I saw it. I saw it. Where is it? Slide something. I just saw it. <gasps> Slide advancer. Oh, are you kidding me? Son of a biscuit. Ugh. Well. Wow, that is a tiny button, I'm not gonna lie. Well, um, <clears throat> now we gotta get, uh, Emmet. Let's, uh, let's make this a good one, right? Stew putt should make him happy. Mm, that smells good. Yes, sir, Emmet, it does. Good. Now, next. Maybe that should have been bad. That probably should have been bad. That makes him... Yep, we gotta make him unhappy. Gonna use the generator. Ah, it made it green. We're gonna sap him. To make him less happy. Zap? Oh yeah. And sap him again. Right, there we go. Next slide. Jesus. The tininess that is that button is not helping. What do we have here? Some. I, I think that's Buford Tenon. Not sure. It probably tells me what the picture. Photo of Tenon. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. He's happy. Next. Who's that? Dalai Lama? I have no clue who that is. Is it Dalai Lama? Photo of a looking, innocent looking child. Okay, let's zap the shit out of Doc. Nobody likes innocent kids, am I right? Come on. Once more. Zappity zap zap. Here we go. And we need to do the next picture. I would think at this point that Emmett would be pissed at me sapping his ass all the time. But I'm not gonna question it. Who do we have here? Who's that? Is that the singer? I think it is, isn't it? Yep, Trixie. Definitely. Slide up answer. That's it. <clears throat> We got that. I did it right, hey, but Annie, it. I think your mind map test is broken. Yep, it oh, just. So that switch just keeps shoring out on me. No time to fix it now. I'll have to take care of it at the expo. Looks like I'm not going to be doing any more mind maps. I guess I'll test this out and hope for the best. Mm hmm. So let's switch out Emmets. <laughs> Hey, uh, Emmett, what's that over there? Swapping out Emmett's mind map with a crappier one is a great idea, but I should probably scan it with a mental alignment meter first. Ugh, please. 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 Why? Mental alignment meter. What would you be? Ah, perfect. Bingo. Now Emmett's mind map is as bad as Tannin's. Now all I have to do is swap this out with Emmett's original mind map, and Emmett's own machine will do him in. Alrighty, so... Put it damn in there. And uh, Emmett, right over there, there's a hot pick of Edna. Okay, Emmett. Get ready to meet the new you. Hey, what? I almost left behind my mind map card. We're gonna show it off at the expo as a rare example of a model citizen. Gonna kill me if I forgot that. How was that? No, that was that, that was close. Once Emmett gets to the expo, I'll try to figure out how to get him to put his card in the mental alignment meter. 
but for now, I better concentrate on making Emmett look like he's fooling around on Edna. Ah, uh, give Trixie she. Uh, yep, I got all those things, or at least I. So I believe. <clears throat> Let's see. Or at least so I do believe. So let's take a look if we can make Trixie happy. Oh yeah, looking all dope. Um, where's Edna? Where's Edna? She's inside setting up her booth. It's almost time for the opening ceremony. Mm hmm. Holy jeez! I better work fast. I think I got it all worked out. When it all comes together, Edna will think you're the worst guy in town. I just need a couple more pieces. Well, don't go to too much trouble. What do you mean? Oh. Uh, you fixed the DeLorean? You got the time circuits fixed. Not exactly. You see, I, I've been mulling things over. And... What is it, Doc? Are you falling for her again? The timeline you're from. The right timeline. Yes, yes. Uh, I've got a wife. Yes. A great wife. And Clara. And kids. And a dog. And a bitch in time train. And, and Edna? How does her story turn out? How does she end up? Uh, happy? Well, Edna ends up... Lie, Marty. Lie. Lie. Ugh. It's best not to know. I'm really supposed to know these things in advance. It's... It's bad luck. But you told me how my story turned out. Yeah, but it's not as if I'm in a position to do anything about it once my younger counterpart's destiny has shifted. I imagine I'll be folded into the new timeline, and I'll probably lose all memory of the old one. Maybe. So tell me, just to satisfy my curiosity, what's going to become of it? <sighs> I can't lie to him. I can't. To be honest, she ends up kind of sad. Sad? She lives with some cats in a dinky little apartment, and she spends most of her time yelling out her window at people, and collecting newspapers, and living in the past. I see. Uh, don't do it, Doc. Well, we've been going about this problem the wrong way. Do we really have to completely obliterate my timeline so we can restore yours? Doc? Maybe we could have the best of both worlds. I could be with Edna, but it could be a little bit, you know, more healthy. Can you hear yourself? Do, do you know what you're saying? Let me remind you. She turned Hell Valley, uh, she turned you into a puppet. She tried to erase your brain. Doc, she tried to erase your brain. Oh, she was terrible. No argument. Horrible. Oh, but she started out with such pure intentions. So did Nero. I don't believe this. Oh, wow. Did he just make an ancient Rome reference? Stop, take this elaborate plan to derail my younger self's love life. Is the short term misery worth the long term gain? Maybe we can find a third way. One where everybody wins. What do you think? Uh. Just makes. Ah. Uh... Uh, no, I can't. Oh, come on. I, um, I, I, I can't. No. I'm sorry, Doc. I can't go along with what you're saying. You don't belong with Edna. So you're determined to break yourself, in spite of my stated wishes. Basically, yeah. Then there's nothing left to say. Shit. Where, where are you going? Why should it matter to you? Aren't you planning on overriding? Oh, come on, don't play that on me. Oh, shit. Come on, that's not cool. Uh, Trixie, don't say a word, just accept Trixie. things. Oh, hiya, kiddo. Ugh. Hey, wouldn't it be easiest if I just march off to that Strickland dame and give her a smack in the puss? Well, it would be fun to watch, but... I wouldn't get her to break up with my friend Emmett. Oh, right. He got all the props I asked for. The furs and the diamond. And your friend's photo album. Not all of them yet, but I'm working. What? Good. 
high mission to give Miss High and Mighty. <sighs> Don't I have all the things? Is there any? Do I have to have your caveman y thing? I have. Oh, come the fuck on. Do I still have that thing that erases everything? I don't, do I? Where the hell did that go? <clears throat> did it drop out of the car? Oh, don't! Oh, no! Oh, crap! Yeah, she should have to go up and smack her in the puss. Well, it would be fun to watch, but it wouldn't get her to break up with my friend Emmett. Oh, right. You got all the props I asked for? I do! And your friend's photo album? Not all of them yet, but I'm working on it. I'm itching to give Miss High and Mighty an eyeful. Jesus. Is it lying on the floor over here somewhere? That little oil thing? I'm pretty sure it dropped out the car. Edna, what's up? Um. That's so never mind. Like that. Very well, then. Where did that oil thing go? What do. Ah, oh, hint. <clears throat> a phony diamond, some furs, and a baby picture of Emmett. I have all the things. I don't have some furs. I have a fur. Can I somehow... Um, I don't know what, what all other furs she... Ah, crap. What other furs she wants. Ah... Uh. Let's check out the diorama. There's got to be something here. Press button to experience Hill Valley's primeval past. Okay, if this dinosaur is called a Tannosaurus, I'm gonna. Oh. <laughs> Whew. That would be kind of creepy. Times may be hard in Hill Valley, but our present worries fade into insignificance when we ponder our Pleistocene past. Mm -hmm. The wolf knocking at your door? Be glad he's not a Tyrannosaurus. King of the ancient lizards. And if you find yourself drowning in debt, well, you could be drowning in something a whole lot stickier, like the Hill Valley Tar Pits. This peek into the distant past is brought to you by Lamont's House of Urban, reminding you fur is forever. Mm hmm. So, can I get that caveman fur thing? Whatever. Sorry about the furs, guys, but. You don't need them where you're going. Okay, apparently not. So can I just hand them to her? Like this? Hey, Trace, Is that gonna work? Are these furs good enough? Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. I'll get to you. I have them for you. Trixie, stand still, please. I brought him its photo album like you asked. Let's see. Gee, he's not bad looking. In an egghead kind of way. Remember, I don't want you seducing him for real. I ain't a cradle robber, kiddo. Now bring me that diamond and we'll be in business. I have the diamond, madam. Actually, it's a prism, but... Voila. Say, pretty snazzy for a phony rock. Gimme. Keep All it right. up and I may take a real shine to ya. I'd rather you take a fake shine to Emmett. I'm working on it. We're, we're so, done. You got everything you need for your big scene? Everything except for your friend. Emmett Brown, redheaded guy about yay high. He'll be the one with Edna Strickland. Not for long, he won't. Great. Hmm. Hmm. Here he is. Here he is. He can't carry that alone, can he? Oh, he realizes he has the helmet on. Get Anna to break things off with Emmett. Easier said than done. Let's talk to Emmett. See what's gonna happen. <clears throat> hey, Emmett, what's yo, yo, yo. Oh, hello, Harry. I guess I've got a mild case of stage fright. I'm about to play my big scene, you know. No telling how Edna's gonna react. Wish me luck. Oh, okay. For Pete's sake. What do you need? Up his back with oil? Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. You've uh, got something on your suit. Oh, 
so I have. Oh, he's gonna use it now. Perfect. Nice. There it was. Work your magic. It's gonna make it dissolve right away, right? Emmett. Apparently not. Of time. Step back now. We're gonna need a little space here. Oh, aren't you a vision? Like something that descended from the heavens. Yes, I'm hmm. a bit elevated at the moment. There's something I've just gotta ask Wait. you. Your tie's a bit crooked. I've been holding it inside for weeks now, and I've simply gotta get it off my chest. Oh. It's tearing. Uh -oh. My Everything's tearing. Suit. My formula. Oh. Oh, look, turn your head. I'll be right back, and we can try this all over and again. And it's Lethrop Brown. Huh? Trixie Trotter. How do you know this woman? I don't. I mean, I listened to some of her records, and I may have taken a picture or two yes. of her, but I... Go on. Deny to the world that you know me. Perhaps it is true, but I know you all too well. What is going on here? You rich boys are all alike. You think material possessions can compensate for a broken heart. Well, you can take back your furs and take back this gaudy diamond, Ow. too. Ow. <laughs> I don't need your expensive presents. I need you. And more importantly, little Emmett Jr. needs you. Well, Edna, I don't... Edna me. Apparently, you are not the man I took you for. I am, see? Oh, no, Emmett, don't. The mental alignment meter proves it. I am the man you fell in love with. Let me see that card. And she puts it in, and he's a bad guy. Criminal. Oh, snap. Known. A degenerate criminal. What? Get out of my sight! I never want to see you again! Gotta be honest. Rough, Emmett. I kind of feel like shit now. To go through it, but doing this. Things are gonna be okay. You and me can... Emmett? That went off great, huh? Yeah. Maybe too great. I feel like a shithead now. I really feel awful. Emmett! Go away! Is he drinking? Where are you? On the top of the freaking courthouse. Things didn't work out the way you expected, but everything's gonna turn out okay. See, I I know how this story turns out and Story is over. <gasps> is he gonna hang himself? Um, don't be okay, crazy. Emmett, hold still. I know your emotions are running a little wild, but don't do anything crazy. <laughs> emotions? What emotions? My emotions are dead. Why not go see a movie then? Hmm. They say I'm crazy. Got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. Stop! What are you doing up here? Don't jump! I wasn't gonna jump! Oh. Yeah, then what do you- This is where I come when I want to think. Oh. Ah. When I want to be alone. Oh. Please tell me more. What are you thinking about? Can't you take a hint? I don't want you here. I don't need you. You don't know what you need. And you do. Um. As a matter of fact, yeah, you need. I see Frankenstein, see Frankenstein, I see Frankenstein. Get your emotions. It gets some perspective. Think about it. All the people who have it even worse than you. For instance, uh, Frankenstein's monster. Frankenstein. I tell you that my very life force is drained away, and you want to talk about Hollywood monster movies. It's a very inspirational monster movie. Especially the scene where they bring the monster to life. There's this big gurney that lifts him up into the air and... And see, there's this wild storm going on and lightning crashing everywhere. It's amazing. And you just gotta see it, Emmett. It'll change your life. Look at my helmet. Which light is flashing? Yellow. Apathy. I don't care about movies. 
I don't care about anything anymore, and I never will. Don't give me that. You care. You care about Hill Valley. You care about love. You care about inventing. I still care about inventing things. <laughs> inventing is overrated. 99% hype, 10% fraud. Name one invention that ever did anybody any good. Uh, how about... The light bulb? Think about Edison and the light bulb. That was a great invention. Yeah, might have been. If there was anything in this miserable world worth illuminating. Aw, oh, come on. The freaking uh, car. The automobile was a great invention, right? You love cars. Yes. If I'm lucky, I may be struck by one today. What a downer, man. revolutionized the whole world. Yes. Now a person can be rejected long distance. Mm hmm. Well. Out here. You're getting on my nerves, Callahan. At least you would be if I still cared about anything. Ah, uh, you care about inventing. You care about. You care about me. me. You care about me, Doc. <laughs> you? Yeah. You. You did this to me. That was stupid. Did what? I was perfectly content drudging away in my dad's law office. You show up out of nowhere, get me all excited about inventing, and disappear. Two months later, you show up again, you trick my me to get noisy. Hair out of myself and getting involved with Edna Strickland. Then you appear a third time and pretend to be my friend just so you can yank the rug out from under me and send me sprawling into the dirt. Okay, I can work with that. Crap. I love you, Harry Callahan. Or is that even your real name? No. It's Marty. not. My name is Marty. Oh, so everything you've told me has been a lie. More or less. Why? Why did you ruin my life? Uh, I did Edna feel oh, good. You. She was leading you down the wrong path. I see. You had my best interests at heart. Yeah. Just like my father. But there's more to it, see. I did it for the sake of your future. And you do? Yes! How is it that I could create a mental alignment meter and yet fail to realize that you are completely delusional? Oh, what does it matter? The world is absurd. No, I know exactly what I'm doing. See? Uh. I know this may sound crazy, but you gotta listen. In 1985, you're gonna invent a time machine. You're right. It sounds crazy. I'm just trying to explain where I'm coming from. Yes. 1985, you're gonna invent a time machine. You're right. It sounds crazy. I'm just trying to explain where I'm coming from. Okay, I can't. I did it for the hell of it. I did it for fun. You ruined my life for fun? Yeah, that's how I get my kicks. You bastard. And all that time you spent building up my dreams, telling me I was gonna be a great scientist. Uh, cheer up. Don't stop dreaming. You are gonna be a great scientist. Your flattery doesn't work anymore. Okay, you're delusional. Dreams are only for people with guts enough to follow. You're saying I don't have guts? You? <laughs> Look at you. What do you know? A person like you? You don't know the first thing about me. I have more dreams in my little finger than you'll ever have. Hey, daydreams don't count. Daydreams? That's what they said to Edison. That's what they said to Einstein. That's I see where this is going. Einstein? Yeah, and look what they accomplished. I'm sick of people telling me what I can and can't do. First my father, then Edna, now you. Listen to me, good. From now on, I'm living my life my way. I'm taking my own advice and I'm following my own ideas. My ideas. Do you hear me? My ideas. Scott. I've got it. Got what do you got? Solution. My invention. I know how to make it work. Mental alignment meter? No, no. My airborne personal transport device. The rocket car? Not rockets. Not rockets at all. That was my mistake. The basic idea was sound, but the propulsion system was unworkable. But the lightning. The lightning. Suddenly the answer is clear. It came to me all at once. Like... Like a bolt of lightning? Exactly. Static electricity. Super high and high static electricity powering the asynchronous oscillation of frictionless plates inside that. What's this stupid thing doing on my head? Damn it. Hey, you, you're you again. Here, I've been wasting my time with silly mind reading tricks when there's serious science to be done. <gasps> and the expo begins at 8. Oh, 
Get the hell out of here before anything else happens. What? I said. Oh no, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't. Please don't. Um, so I'm going to pull the rope. It's not going anywhere. Um, Marty, please do something. Uh, clock. The expo's already started. You are taking it quite cautiously. There's not enough weight on this one, is there? To pull the other one up? I can't oh. swing on it while it's still attached to the statue. What? Can't swing? can't swing on it while it's still attached to the statue. Okay, go further down. And release it. Um. Do I have anything that's sharp? Totally taking this calm, by the way. It's Run. not going anywhere. Yeah. Maybe use a bulb in the Emmett's helmet. helmet? I don't think he needs it now. Crap. Um, something in the car? Should I go for help? I need something to... Uh, is there anything in the back? No. I gotta say, Marty, you are awfully calm. Can I do something with the rope? I can't undo the knot. Ugh, are you kidding me? Is there anything here I can use? He's just walking into invisible walls. Is there anything in here? Uh, letting, opening... Knife? I wasn't planning on doing anything else. Well, we're going to do this next time. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you guys around next time where we get to play some more Back to the Future Episode 4. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.